Hello, how are you? I've been working on the new Autorix system. So the last video where I show you how to use it, delete it. Doesn't yeah, it's, it work? It works. It's, it's just like the RDM two version one, but now with RDM version two, we have a new, completely, almost completely Autorix. The head and the hands are still the same ones, but the spine, the arms and the legs, I rewrite, rewrite all the code. So it's completely new and I'm going to show you how it works. I'm almost done with the tool. I'm running like small changes. For example, I add here fonts, uh, the legacy menu, tutorials, website. Everything is working here without errors. So it's going to be nice. I'm in beta right now. If you want the tool for free, this is like your last week or two because after that I'm going to sell it so if you want the tool now for free let me know you can have it okay so where is the new auto rig now it's working with a uh, spine fk and ikfk the fk is the same one as before and the ikfk is new so I'm going to use it so for that I like to use I'm going to use 7 so we change I usually use 5 but for the example, I'm going to use 7, okay? Control D to create a group. And let's position this in... It's almost the same, but I like to position this maybe a little bit under the belly button right now. And let's see... Around there is fine. And where the neck starts, okay? This is going to be fine for now, I think. Let's create joints and uh, it's working properly i think okay and create spine there we go too little because of the belly this guy has control c oh my god control c there we go joints and controller size is going to be uh, around three yeah there we go we can make the controller smaller later and now what is different in here in here we have these green controllers and the purple controllers the purple ones are fk and the green ones are ik so it can have this kind of movement under this spine we have a change pivot so if you want to make the pivot go high go low you can change it from here okay really useful for the making the spine work fine okay Let's create the head. The head is exactly the same. You just select the head end and head start and move those two. Head end is going to be around here. And now it has something really nice that you can mess with these positions and we change it later. So I don't really care that much about the position right now because I know I can change them later. Size one, I know size one works fine. Let's change this. Let's see. Oh, um, this one is still make th make it a little low. It's just a matter of making them go up. Okay, there we go. Now the hands. If you see also the interface, we have this controller size always on top, so it's easier. The arms, they work exactly the same. And let's make the clavicle goes around here first shoulder goes in here you can do the trick with the plane but for this demonstration I won't be doing it because it lasts a little longer but if you don't know what the trick of the plane is uh, check it it's really it's worth it to check it okay so let's put them right there see the joints how they work oh, I click leg sorry in here I don't like it really much so let's move this a little bit and there we go and now we have this one a little higher now we have two three ways of creating arms the known way it creates just a simple IKFK I don't recommend it if you don't know how to improve it it's just a basic one because if you want to do something else you have it I think the twist one is going to be the entry one. So let's create the twist one. And if you see, of, of course, the, the size is 
to a small there we go we now have a different system we don't have that ugly controller in the IKFK down here now the switch is going to be in every controller if you see here IKFK in the clavicule IKFK in the arm IKFK we have an auto clavicle system for FK so uh, this is way too small also but I can change it, it doesn't matter an auto clavicle works like this, if you rotate the clavicle rotates with the with the shoulder so if you see it's going higher or lower or, or null if you don't want it to move okay also we have a stretchy from the beginning so it's easier and a really nice twist for the arms those twists are these tools right here okay so it's a really nice system i really like it i really appreciate it if you have any feedback so if you see here it doesn't work as nice because we didn't do the the trick for the for the ik to work properly but you know what the trick is i'm going to do the legs the legs now have a way better system i've been struggling with programming these legs for a long time right now so i'm really proud of the result so let's create this let's let's move all the the foot controllers at once i think it's easier so let's see ankle going up and from the side i try to do this video as fast as possible but it's not always that easy this is going right here the knee is in here and in here okay nice the end foot is going to be right here the ball is going to be around there the in foot and the out foot are new ones and they were for doing the rock or the tilt so the in one is going here and the out one is going right there okay that's it create joints and check them there's a thing in here if you see a joint bigger than other it's an error so control c until that didn't happen i'm working on that but i don't really know why it didn't show it to me but for some friends it's showing up so if one look if one joint is bigger the control c and go back okay i hope you find that error because i need to fix it and it doesn't show it to me so let's create the legs with right bone rebounds so maybe five and create it and if you see it's the same thing as the hands but we have here some extra attributes for example a roll for the foot and all the things that we do and also controllers for the show and hidden for the reverse foot some extra controllers and also down here because we do ribbons we have a show sorry a show for the ribbons so that's really useful also we have here the sets we are working on right because the legs we have the ribbon sets and because the hands are twists we have the twist sets okay so that's really important now with the hands the hands are really simple to do i recommend doing them with careful because uh, because they are hands and hands sometimes give trouble so let's do this really fast we need to turn this option on so it's easier it's not to project the center the first joint is going right here the second joint is going right here the third one in the phalange i don't know how to say that the phalange and that's it i'm going to place them really fast i learned that the the this one doesn't go like in the loop of the finger go like further back of the loop up the finger so let's see let's make this faster because we have project the center is going to be way easier and because we have some new tools it's going to be really easy to change this if we happen to mess up okay let's see let's see and the last one is going to be like that okay really nice we have the fingers let's create fingers with size of maybe three 
Uh, okay, three was away, two is more. Than maybe five? Uh, maybe six, seven, seven is fine. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's great work for me. Now let's create the character name Jack by Elisa. Thank you very much, Elisa. Create a master controller. I really like that. Turn this off. And connect the spine, connect head, connect legs, and connect arms. And now if you see, we have a rig that is scalable from this controller. So that will be the rig. Let's see. Okay, the bind skin, obviously. Select the character. Sorry, select the character. And click here, bind the skin. That's it. Now the character is binded. And if you see, we have the ribbons in here. So it's working really nice. We have the spine here with its controller. Well, that's because of the weight. We can change this. This one moves like this. This one moves like this, and it's working fine. So, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to do a delta mesh so it's, it looks as a little better because it was looking really nice. Mm. So there we go. Okay, let's see. You fucked up with the hands, and you place the locators where you don't want them so you can click here improve arms if you click here it delete the systems and return you to the locator phase so let's see you can move for example the elbow it was like usually the shoulder are the, are the problem one so you move it a little bit there and you click on the locators and then you want a ribbon maybe create a ribbon one now I'm going to select this, do a skin, unbind the skin, and rebind the geometry. So bind the skin, and there we go. We have again the skeleton binded with the changes. Okay, we did it connected, so connect arms. And there we go, we have the system working. Something important is use only after connecting all the parts. It won't work. Un unless it's connected, okay? It's really important, really, really important. You see it's in capital letters because of that. And another really important thing is improve a spine. If you do a spine, for example, with the amount of seven, when you click improve a spine, you need to click it with the amount of seven. That's important because it won't work unless it has its correct size. You see here, it creates me the seven locators. If I click Control C and return it to the build one, and I change it to 5 because it's the default one sorry, to 5 and if you click here it's just creating 4 and it's giving me a value error so if that happens you won't be able to do control C because of the way the control C works so that will be it now it's way cleaner we don't have we only have one expression because in the previous build we have a lot of expressions now we only have the chicken head because it's the last chicken head I didn't change it so it's working really nice hope you like it, hope you find it useful and if you want to use it let me know I can write you, I can let you use it for free for this couple of weeks give me errors, I need errors to fix them so hope you like it and that will be it thank you for watching and stay tuned it's going to be amazing, I love it so nice See you.